Today, we're in the herd with Cross Country. The Bison will split their squad this weekend, as some team members will race in Lewisburg during Friday's Bison Open, and others will head up to Colgate for the Harry Lang Invitational. The meet at Colgate's going to be a very competitive meet. Uh, the big hitters of the Patriot League are going to be there. And obviously, we're all going to be eyeing each other. It's going to be a free scouting report for everybody. Uh, but this time of the year, you don't know who's really going after it. You don't know if anybody's going to be holding people out to save them for later in the year. He does say that having the rest of his squad race at home during the Bison Open is a great benefit. we got to give them some experience. Uh, plus, there's a few people running at home that are uh, capable of making our varsity by the end of the year. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, at the home meet. It's going to be competitive. Last year's Patriot League Rookie of the Year, John Dugan, says racing last season helped him and his team. It was good, like good experience, you know, getting to race and race well in the league meet last year. Um, you know, and as a unit, we really came out of that meet with a lot of positives, even though we didn't finish as high as we'd like to. So we took that focus and really took charge of that for that the whole year, each week, even through the track season, getting ready for this season. Of course, Dugan worked hard all summer long on his running ability, but he was also able to do so in a familiar environment. I worked back home and um, my track season was extended. Um, into June for the uh, USA Outdoor Junior Nationals. Um, so after that I took two weeks downtime and resumed my training um, and I also had a job working at Coles so um, I was mostly doing working and running but it was nice to be home with my family as well and see some of my friends back home. Meanwhile, senior Leah Goki says it will be different seeing fellow Patriot League rivals on their first meet of the season. The competitive drive is always going to be there. I mean, when you see a, you know, a Navy jersey or anybody else, you're always going to want to go after it. I think we will be having like a specific race plan to follow. Um, I think we're more consider, you know, going out a little more conservative in the beginning and then probably trying to finish hard at the end. So we've got specific goals for the race. During the summer months, Leah broadened her educational experience by going on a mini trip abroad and working at an archaeological dig. I actually spent six weeks um, in Israel. I was excavating a couple sites up there for uh, just, it was archaeology, so I tried something different and, uh, you know, it was, it was different, yeah, because I wasn't running as much because we were digging from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day and uh, it was very warm there, but I would get out and run a little bit, but it was like, manual labor, a lot of digging, a lot of pushing wheelbarrows and stuff, so it was a different kind of training. The Bison Open begins at 5.30 p.m. Friday, and the Harry Lang Invitational gets underway at Colgate Saturday at 11.30 a.m.